as you get prepared for your upcoming BSA exam, I think it is important we um, bring this to you on some of the repeated questions in your BSA exam so that you can know how to appropriate your time in some topics. You know, um, like a book that we read then, they said all animals are equals, but some animals are more equal than others. It means that all the topics contained in your basic exam syllabus, okay, they are all important, but we have discovered that these examiners, they are, it's like they have some favorite topics, all right? So we have to make some research for you. Uh, had to make some research of some past questions of about three to four years ago and looked at the pattern of how these questions are repeated, all right? And in this session, I will be giving you topics in mathematics, in your basic mathematics for basic exam and how, how these topics, we have questions from those topics, how, they are, how much they are repeated, right? And I'm going to give you the topics and the number of times questions have come out of those topics over the past four years, right? So that is what I'll be doing for you in this video. And um, the aim of it is that after watching the video, you can write these things down. And those topics that have more questions, I think they require more of your time, right? So that, um, because we believe that in your next exam or in your, in your basic exam that is coming soon, you will also probably have this pattern of um, questions to come in, right? So I'm going to give you these topics in descending order. That is from highest to lowest, right? So the first on my list is statistics. Statistics over the past um, four years that we checked also appeared about 41 times, like the number of questions, 41 statistic questions. So statistics, you must pay attention to, okay? Pay attention to measures of central tendencies, pay attention to presentation of statistical, uh, when you are done with your analysis, how to present it, those presentation tools like the pie chart, the bar chart, the pictogram, you know, pay attention to those, things, especially your pie chart, especially your pie chart. All right, then for your measure of central tendency, you know your mean, median, mode, range, okay, for grouped and ungrouped data, right? Know how to draw your frequency table and all those things, right? Then the next one is algebraic processes and expressions, right? Algebraic processes and expression, we have it about um, 39 times, appeared 39 questions over the past three to four years or so. Um, um, algebraic processes. So you know how to uh, factorize algebraic processes, um, how to expound algebraic processes, how to do what again, simplify algebraic processes. Just know um, all um, the maneuvers around algebraic processes. All right. Then the next is word problems. Word problems. We have word problem questions um, appear. Um, 24 times, 24 questions over these years, right? And you know what problem questions, if um, I think that that is one of the challenge, uh, one of the challenges that uh, students have in mathematics, because your examiner wants to, your, your examiner wants to know your ability to interpret word problem into mathematical expressions. So, and in almost all the topics you have in mathematics, there are word problems leading to them. So just know how to get your word problems, right? Understand what a word problem question is saying and know how to interpret it into mathematical form Then you can solve from there, right? Then the next one is mensuration of solid shapes. Mensuration of solid shape, that is solid shape, right? Those three-dimensional shapes, your cone, your um, cube, your cuboid, 
uh, your cylinder, volume of cylinder, all those things, just know those things. I think we have them about 21 questions. So know the volume of those things, know how to calculate the volume of cylinder, volume of a, um, of a cuboid, of cube, and all those things. All right, so some of their properties, and know how to know, okay, know the edges that you can find in a cube, in a cuboid, and all those things. So just know those things. The vertices of some of these shapes and all those things. All right, then the next one we have is the plane geometry. That is um, your two-dimensional shape. That is your plane shape, your plane geometry. We have about 20 questions, right, over the years. For the measuration of solid shape, about 21 questions, okay, why for plane shapes about 20 questions from the past um, past years right and um, for plane geometry and uh, we're looking at like the square the rectangle the circle the rhombus the trapezium the parallelogram okay their properties their area their perimeter circumference in terms of the circle and all that for circle how to get your radius from diameter, right? Because sometimes your examiners may just give you a diameter of a circle, expecting that you should know how to get the radius from there. So you should know um, all that, all right? Then the next on the list is angles. Angles. Angles appeared about 18 good times, okay? No properties of angles properties of angles, you know, um, types of angles even, right? The alternate angles, corresponding angles, um, what is it called, um, adjacent angles, angle on a straight line, you know, those principles, those theorems around them, okay? Alternate angles are equal, corresponding angles are equal, so you should be able to identify corresponding angles, this and that, right? So no uh, things about your angles, those properties and their principles, right? All right, so the next is inequalities. Inequalities um, is also another topic that you need to also consider. We have about 14 questions from inequalities over the past three to four years, right? So inequalities, you should understand how to draw your number line or how to even interpret a number line, right? And you have some questions there and some word problem questions leading to inequality. So you just know your inequality questions, right? Then probability is the next, right? Probability questions, you will see them, how to um, identify the probability of, uh, especially know how to um, get about your fair die, right? when the die is thrown, okay, and they may ask you to find the probability of getting a one, you know what to do there, probability of getting even numbers, or probability of getting odd numbers and all that, okay, you know the probability around placing a set of ball or a set of a particular kind of object inside a bag and how to find the probability of a particular color or particular fruit and all those things, so probability is another topic you need to give attention to. It appeared about 11 times over the past um, over the past three to four years. Then the next one is simple equations. Simple equations, right? Look at simple equations, right? Uh, about 11 times we have simple equations. Um, what problem leading to simple equation? Just know everything about simple equation. And also simple equation with fractions also. You know, there are some simple equations who have fraction in them. Know them. It appeared about them um, 10 times, right? 10 times. Simple equation. Then fractions as maybe um, simple or as cheap as fraction may be for you. You will see them in your basic exams, right? Know how to add fraction, how to, um, what is it called? Um, um, subtract fractions, multiply fraction, divide fractions, okay? Your examiner may want to know your knowledge of applying the board mass rule, okay, in solving fractions. So he may give you some set of fractions and um, give you subtraction, addition, multiplication, division. 
everything excuse me everything in that fraction right so he wants to know your ability to know which operation should come first is it minus is it plus is it division is it whatever so know your fractions very well then the next one is number basis right number basis appeared like eight times number basis you will have to know your um um how to count in base two what number bases are first of all then how to count your numbers in base two how to convert from base two to base ten how to convert from base ten to base two how to convert from other bases to base ten how to convert from other bases to other bases and all that okay so you should know how to add um, in binary numbers how to subtract binary numbers how to divide binary numbers how to multiply binary numbers you should know all that all right then the next one is trigonometry right trigonometry we have about eight questions from there over the past three to four years eight questions trigno all right those socatua right um sine equal to opposite over hypotenuse cosine equals to adjacent or so you should know when to apply um, each of those things right so they will give you a triangle they will give you some shape and um, some side of the triangle and ask you to find the other side in trigonometry too they will, they will also ask you to find um, angles that are not given okay so you should know how to go about that how to check your trigonometric ratios from your probably your four-figure table how to point it in your calculator know all that right then um, um simultaneous equation is another topic you should give serious attention to right know how to do your elimination method um, substitution method graphical method and all that so that if they ask you to use a particular method you should know what to do probably uh, especially in your theory questions if they ask you for um, specifically ask you to use a particular um, method to solve you should know what to do right then i think um, simultaneous equation over these years we have about eight questions coming out right we have variations all right you need to know the different types of variation um, direct vario, um, direct inverse joints and all that um, you should know all that i think variation question come um, we have about um, um, seven of them right about eight of variation question over the past three to four years uh, you should know how to get the constant in a variation and the formula connecting the two variables in a variation questions okay all right then we have square roots and square right know how to get your square roots know how to get your squares know what to do to get them some of those things they may not ask the, you may not have to use your calculator they, you you have to solve them right okay so you, you be sure if they ask you a square root question they may not give you a number that you can just easily punch your calculator because they know you have your calculator so they will give you something that you need to apply some principles to get the answer so just know that then similar triangles and shape is another topic we have about seven questions from there similar triangles and similar shape just go and study that too we have polygons okay some of interior angles of the polygon and the end side of a polygon okay know how to know the formula know how to get the end side all right then we have angle of elevation and depression right when they give you a question on angle of elevation and depression you should know how to draw because if you don't draw it and you have a right angle triangle from it you, it may be very difficult for you to solve the question right so just know your angle of elevation and depression right then um, bearing and distances is another thing you should also have to consider too okay bearing and distances right how to you should know your coordinates your poles the north pole the south the west the east pole and all that you should know what each of those um each of those segments right what they represent 90 180 270 360 you should know you should know your um, three figure bearing you should know all that you should know how to get distances and all that right then uh, i think that appeared about six times also right we have change of subject formula change of subject formula appeared about five times right so know how to change subject right in a given expression 
right? Then we have, um, what again, what again? Construction is another thing you should look at. They may not ask you to construct, but be rest assured that they may also ask you to construct, but um, construction, expect construction in your objective questions. But how do you construct an objective? They will have to give you pictures or diagram of constructions. They want, to, they want you to identify the angle constructed. So you should know how to identify your angles, those special angles that can be constructed with a ruler and a pair of compasses, right? So you should know how to um, you should know how to identify angle 30, angle 90, angle 45, angle 60, angle 180, 360, uh, as the case may be, right? You should know how to um, identify those angles when you see them in pictures. So then we have our standard form. Standard form appears about, I think, four, four or five times. Standard form, how to convert from ordinary form to standard form and has to also, how to also convert from standard form to ordinary form, you should know all that. Then um, approximation and estimation, don't forget that, right? Approximation came about, I think, four or five times, right? How to approximate what random numbers are, okay, or what random and round down numbers are, what, how to round off, okay? How to use your round up numbers to round off, how to use your round down number, right? Okay, how to round off to significant figures, what significant figures are, what decimal places are, okay, number of decimal places, they will ask all that in your approximation and estimation, okay? And lastly for this, LCM and HCF, right? Learn your LCM, you know, they, have, they started teaching your LCM right from your primary two or primary one or primary three, okay? So you just get to and know that you will see it in your BC, all right? So get prepared for LCM and your HCF, okay? So like I said, the essence of this is to give you these questions in the order of um, repetition over the years and occurrence, right? So that you can best um, apply your time and your energy to those topics that you have repeated more over the years okay i believe that as you do this you your effort will be crowned with success i wish you all the best in your forthcoming best exam thank you very much